Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the like, shares, and um, thank you for the positive feedbacks that you have given. This is the last week of the year 2017 and the year 2017. It's ending with the week beginning from the 25th until the 31st. I want to say... Um, Please like, share these videos, and I hope you will um, be with us next year. Thank you for all the supports and all the wonderful um, situations that you have brought in my life. Okay. Um, we have the energy of an organization that you have to deal with in this week. This week is the energy of water. Um, this organization is bringing balance uh, whatever the balance is uh, um, this organization is bringing balance a week of water with the zodiac energy of heart which is very good because um, you have the earth energies helping you okay because it's the week of water and you have the earth energies helping so let's go and see what is happening for um, you Aries, let's go and see what's happening for you, Aries. Okay, so, um, with the zodiac energy of Earth, it's gonna be positive. There's a lot of sword energies, but not to worry. Okay, so you have the Ten of Swords, don't know what is happening there, and the Queen of Swords on top of you. Then you have the Two of Cups. Then you have art break. Then you have the energy of a tower with um, that person, the Queen of Cups. Then you have a rest. And then you have uh, your battle and the Prince of the Prince of Cups. Okay, so you're dealing with a situation in an organization with a Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups. As somebody between the ages of 25, 25 and 45 and whatever is happening as you have to deal with this um, prince this could be your son um, for some of you Aries whatever is happening this could have been your son this is your son because this person is between the ages of 25 and 45 this person is an um, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Crave. Okay, so be aware of that. All right, we're going to go in your readings because whatsoever is happening, you have the Ten of Swords in your back. Um, the Ten of Swords is, you know, people stabbing you in the back, lying and cheating, and this sort of a thing. And it has to do with um, this woman. Um, she is a queen so she is 45 years old and over so you've been stabbed in the back by this woman 45 years old and over so this is someone who's an aquarius a gemini or a libra an aquarius a gemini or a libra and uh, you know i can ask the question but it's, it's it's just plain and straight whoever this person is um she's not very nice she stabbed you in the back she sell you out for something so let's see what exactly she did okay okay there's an ending a cross and an ending coming to her okay so whatever she did and whatever um, happened and whatever has transpired um, this person who stabbed you in the back is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and whatever is happening is that it was a um, um, a cosmic. It was um, it was really a, a, a sort of a um, um, what was that now? It's, 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 so it's just a um, a situation where um, it has to do with material needs and wants, but it is an, a karmatic situation that came back. From a lifetime and lifetime so this situation that is happening between you and this uh, and this and this person 
because you know it's like she's she has a vendetta for you as somebody whose art isn't um, clean so let's see because when you have the cross and the five um, it's, it's, it's really like a, um, a karmatic situation that you have with this person and you know she is someone not to be trusted I don't think you should even turn your back on her because she's not supposed to be trusted people like these you hold them very close to you and you watch them as they play and weave their little weave okay um, so whatever it is because you have because this is a back concern so it's um, it's obviously a karmatic situation and whoever the screen of sword is is between the ages of 45 and older okay so be aware on this on Monday on Tuesday you have the energy of the two of cups love um, but you have worries about your money okay there is you know um, what is happening is that there's worries about money but you know you have love so um, you can worry about money but you have love love is the most important thing and you know all you have to do because people tend to worry we need to stop worrying about these things we need to ask the universe for help and to stop being worried so if you're having financial situation all you have to do is call upon the universal angels and guides and said you know I am I'm you know I need help I need help you know are you there I need help because there's a lot of worrying and you and your partner um, as worrying but not to worry because you know there's an invitation and a solution that is coming up you know you don't need to worry because there is an invitation and a solution so you know if you if you haven't been um, working and that sort of thing because obviously you know you and your partner um, is in the, the sense of worrying but you know you have love enjoy the moment because there's an invitation that is coming up and a solution that is coming to your problem so um, whatever the situation is not to worry about it because what is happening is that a solution will come there's an invitation that is coming and a solution will come and you need not to worry just take it one day at a time and you know remind your angels every day of what is taking place okay all right as we move forward for the men between the ages of uh, um, 25 and 45 you're going to have outbreaks and sorrows outbreak and sorrow the men um, between the ages of 25 and 45 you're going to have heartbreaks and sorrow okay um, whatever the situation is there is an uh, heartbreak situation that is coming up it is crowned in the week so it's going to affect most of the men between the ages of 25 and 45 there is an heartbreak situation that is really coming up and it is going to affect you men so let's see what is this heartbreak what is the sorrow about what is it that you're losing there is a news coming up and this news is going to bring changes and you know <laughs> oh you know you need not to worry because what is coming up is good news is coming you know you feel outbreak lost and 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 that sort of a thing but there is good news on its way to you and you have um, no um, reason to worry about the situation whatever it is there's changes coming news about a decision multiple offers okay news about a decision multiple offers is coming in and um, this is going to be um, very good for you so you have nothing um, actually to worry about because your worries and concern is is, is you know these are going to be changed um, very soon so you know multiple business opportunities and incomes are coming up so you know whatever you felt you guys felt lost about whatever you know if it's the end of a contract end of um, a time at work you know you have learned something and you're moving on 
but there are multiple offers that is coming in and obviously this is a business situation because what is happening here is that is multiple business opportunity that are going to come in multiple incomes and trade so this is good so whatever you know your sorrows is you know you need to release that sorrows because it's going to be okay I know it's easy for me to say but you know sometimes it's hard okay there is a situation that you're having with the Queen um, with this Queen of Cups whether this Queen of Cups is whatever she has done the tower has come and removing her and her energy and whatever she has done whatever she has done to block you stop you whatever um, this Queen of Cups did because obviously she did something um, it's 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 going to change it's going to change and it's going to change for the best okay so whoever this Queen of Cups is what has transpired is that she did something the Queen of Cups did something and the energy of the tower is coming down on her and this is good because uh, then she will be you know remove out your space and um, things are going to be um, happening for you on Friday you have the energy of the Prince of Swords. There's a lot of energy with people between the ages of 25 and 45. A lot of energy is happening for people between the ages of 25 and 45 because the eight of one. So um, whoever this person is, it could be someone between the ages of 25 and 45. It is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra is coming at you with a lot of text message email a lot of words a lot of harsh words um, maybe you are not knowing this but this is what this person is doing behind your back okay so you will feel the energy of you know just feel very down and that sort of a thing because this is what this person is doing um, they're sending you sending out negative energies towards you with a negative words and and that sort of a thing okay as we move forward we have the energy of um, the princess of swords in um, the reverse form and this is someone who's between the ages of 25 and 45 it is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarian and she has no longer no connection um, you know she can't you know her powers is is over and they always said whenever they're in the reverse form that to be careful but I'm getting as if you don't have any power over me um, and you know you should always said no one have the power over you only source creator okay but whoever this person was she is between the ages of 25 and 45 and she is an Aries a Leo or Sagittarians uh, no she is an Aquarian a Gemini or a um, Libran and whoever she is you know you don't have to worry about it because um, whatever is happening to her um, she has no power over you and now you're resting whatever she has done and whatever has transpired now you are resting so she has no power over you okay the energy um, of you have uh, um, you have defeat um, someone because you know people think that this is a card of defeat this is not a card of a defeat whoever you are if you're a woman you have win this battle if you're a woman you have win this battle if you're a man you have lost the battle okay and um, whoever these people are in whatever situation some you know you're just work, going forward and working hard and getting your stuff together so whoever this man is he has lost the battle you have defeat this person so um, you know these cards as different because um, each deck has a different meaning and you know as you can see this deck this woman has pinned all the swords over him and she has two swords in her hand so of course she is the winner and he's the defeater so whatever is happening um, no just continue focus on your work because that's the most important thing at this moment continue to focus on your work and leave the thoughts of um, you not you know um, 
being present at the same time and I want you know the swiftness of what is coming in on Friday it is somebody who's bringing swift news to you on Friday and it's it's like um, words you know they're 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 so negative they're so negative and sending out all this sort of a thing to you and speaking about you behind your back and stabbing you and you know that sort of that sort of a thing but you know whatever you you have to deal with on Monday with this um, this queen of swords you know it's okay um, it's uh, you know when people do these things they're not aware that it's going to affect them later so um, you know what what you have to do is just look at it as 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 if uh, um it's a lesson to learn and it is a karmatic lesson because whatever she has said and stab you in the back and whatever you know it is just a karmatic lesson is it's not um she is the one who is doing the action and it will come back to her so it doesn't it doesn't really matter so you need to um, just leave this this is a very weird week it's the last week of the year but it's a very weird week because what is happening is a lot of situation stop worrying about your financial situation because you know there you're going to receive a new job between now and the beginning of um, next year and you know because this is the last week people always call you like the second week after when you know things are coming back to normal after the holiday season so there should be a, you know there you know don't worry about the situation because it's it's just going to be okay it's just um, you know there is time when you have a period where you need to slow down whoever is this queen of cups whatever she has done um, the truth is coming out now so and not to worry about that whatever she has done the truth is coming out now so you need not worry about that and this is going to be good um just be aware of this um queen of swords because whoever she is you know it's somebody who will sell you out in any minute for anything so um be aware of um this person okay let's look and see what the wisdom of the oracle have for you guys and it says melting 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 so whatever is happening the energy of melting comes up and the energy of melting is always a positive energy um, it's like an alien it's like whenever you have a situation with someone and you're you know you are saying you know you know you know sorry for whatever has happened it's forgiveness it's making amendments and alien after arguments okay whatever it is is forgiveness it's making amendments and healing after argument each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding the integrations we accumulate unwanted burden this keep us um, chained to the very thing we need to heal the pain the memories and the echoes um, in our minds uh, of resentment and the arguments that we rehearse over and over again now is the time for mending rifts healing wounds and letting go of the whole earth in order to reclaim your power now is the time to forgive to release to make peace and to make amendments to others set yourself free and this is a very wonderful energy set yourself free honestly just set yourself free from all the stuff that is going on and you know clear yourself and your energies from whatever situation that is happening for you and set yourself free ask the universal angels the Lord of karma to come in and forgive whoever the person is that stab you in the back and this is someone who is a woman who is 45 years old and older who stab you in the back so let's um, do that okay all right and um, let's see whatever what else is happening for you um, you have a strong foundation so um, foundation and achievement foundation and achievement is a wonderful energy to receive this is like the four of the purple <laughs> um, the four of ones yeah this is like the energy of the four of ones 
so this is good um, there's a strong you have a strong foundation and um, you have achieved so much in your life so this is you know like one of the most positive positive cards in the deck the last energy we have is the energy of the unicorns this is the first time that you're reading this so but it's it's, it's very very horrible <laughs> But not to worry about it, things will be okay. So, as we look and see what the unicorns have for you guys, the time went by so quickly. Um, wisdom, wisdom, act with wisdom, and people will respect you. Act with wisdom, and people will respect you. So, whatever is going on, just act with wisdom, and by acting with wisdom, people will respect you, you know. Um, and, and acting with wisdom you know you just walk away from certain things and just don't deal with certain things because for for instance this person whoever this person is uh, let's stab you in the back you know this is just their character how they are okay and um, um, you know these sort of people are always <laughs> are always like that so whatever I want to say thank you for supporting my channel please um, remember to likes and share and um, please continue um, to listen to the energies the um, year reading is going to come out soon so whatever is happening so um, I want to say thank you for your supports and your likes and your shares namaste until next week